What the investment banks then do is use your money to gamble. So it's tails they win, heads you lose, we lose. Unequitable, unjust. The retail banks need to be separated from the investment banks. If they want to make fortunes, let them. If they lose, they go. And if they committed fraud, they go to jail. But what about um, giving the people a voice and, 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 and sort of uh, voting with their actions, leaving the banks and joining credit absolutely. unions? Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. If you did a bad money. service, if you're worried about that your, your savings, your money could potentially be lost by a banking crisis, absolutely. That's capitalism. But we can't have capitalism where there is no bankruptcy. It's like having Christianity without hell. You can't do it. The problem is, what do we do? That's the problem. Is the, what, what is the, the problem what you do is you do what's here. here. You do what's here because the governments of the world are in the pockets of these people. They're in the, you know, they're funded, they're lobbied by these people. You know, it's in their interest to support them. All their money come, comes from the hedge funds, the banks. So what do we do as the people? We what sit can, back and idly accept it. What can we it? do to support this movement? What can we do to make this movement grow? Well, we have an action plan. We have an action plan. Not this isn't this is a this isn't a pan, you know about. Uh, uh, violence is, you know, it's pretty much what Luther King established 40 years ago, is pacifist resistance. You know, it, this is about the people. The government is, you know, voted by the people for the people. It's not about the 1% anymore. Because this is about having kids. And, you know, what, what, what is my kids going to inherit? Bankrupt nations, no jobs. Six, one million 16 to 24 year olds are unemployed. You know, they've got, and they've done everything. They've gone to university, they've got degrees, and they've been tossed on the scrappy with debt. You know, and, the, and there's no jobs. And yet, somehow, the, the greed, the corporate greed here, is un unparalleled in history. But people seem in to 1980, still... the American deficit was $1 trillion, from the founding of America to 1980. In 30 years, that deficit has grown to $13 trillion. In the last three years, it's grown by four trillion. We're going to bankrupt the world if there is not a movement going. There is a movement going. <laughs> <laughs>